feel is like someone that used to play Zero's Airman Smash 4. And it is definitely someone that's trying to adapt to this game as hard. But, you know, playing a new character, obviously, it could become a little tough. Meanwhile, he's going to be playing against the one and only Tilde, Rock and Falco in this game. One of the three spaces. I mean, I, Falco's actually good in this game, so it's definitely a good pick. Let's see what type of moves he can make out here. Bonke this time opting to uh, stay with the Squirtle. No, nope, there it is. There's Ivysaur. It's like, it wasn't working out, so. That's another thing Pokemon Trainer Mains can actually, like, employ. So they feel like they're just kind of getting, um... Of losing the advantage state over and over, they can just switch up their entire playstyle by switching the characters up. It can definitely help out in that regard. Here we go, Bankai catches the shield, gets a grab, switches over to Charizard to get the flame breath to force the up A little bit too quick with that forward arrow. He's definitely trying to two frame him. Flare Blitz, oh, that's super greedy. Now, Flare Blitz is a move that has huge amounts of knockback. And, uh,. You know, like, it does damage to yourself. A lot of damage. And a little bit of cooldown afterwards. So if the opponent sees it coming, can easily shield it. Get a punish right afterwards. Okay, man, Bankai. Sitting at 160%. Tilde looking for a uh, potential kill. Gets the down air. Try to get the follow air, uh, forward air follow-up. But that was not a true combo. It allowed Bankai to get the air dodge. But that time, looking a little true. That was OD. Up to the forward air. It's actually my first time seeing Falco in this game, so I'm, I'm really excited. All right, we got the, just the typical jab coming out from Bankai. I think he can get into his double jump, opted to go for the Falco Phantasm to get back onto stage. Cool. Good shield grab. Applying a lot of damage right now, those up airs. Ooh, gets caught by the Reflector. Razor Leaf coming in his clutch. Very unsafe Falco Phantasm. Thrown out by Dild Tilde. Bunga could have easily turned that around. Got a grab. Just wasn't in the right state of mind. Two stocks apiece. Trying to go for trades. Now at this point, Tilde thought... Oh, unfortunate for Tilde. He thought that Bunga was going to try to recover low that time around. That's why he had, it went off stage so deep with that back air. But because he guessed wrong, he put himself out there for Bankai to just easily close out that stock. It's the up air against the opponent. Second back air. Nice swing. Falco still got them kicks. Up tilt. Mashing it to get those, those hits. Applying pressure with all these forward airs. Good parry coming out from Bankai, or sorry, Tilde. Able to get some uh, damage in the process. At this point, you see a lot of pressure being exuded by uh, Bankai on that platform, forcing Tilde to commit to something, but all those active hit frames, there's not much you could have done. Catches the roll with a forward smash, potential edge guard situation for Bankai. Close out, close out the stock yet again. Oh, Tilde actually DI'ing that. We live in. We saw the sparks too. High three might have to upgrade to a high four. Oh, Falco Phantasm's right through it, trying to catch Charizard's big body. Or to potentially send him up into the air. To get some follow ups. So he's bringing this back. Wait a minute. He's got him off stage. Jumping around. Avoids the. That would have been disastrous for Tilde. If you got a copy of that, another forward air coming out strong from Bankai. Game number one, narrowly going to hit. Tilde was definitely bringing that back slightly at the end. After that, that first forwarder that connected that I thought was going to kill, he ended up DIing it. And once he got back to stage, he started just attacking uh, Bankai and racking up that damage slow, little by little. And uh, could have potentially led that into a kill. Couldn't close it out just yet, but the adaptation is definitely there. And we'll see if we can bring that into game number two with this counter pick going back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Potential character edge guard. Ooh. No, okay. Saw the snake got a little excited for a bit. Was hoping he was going to channel his inner to kill Sage. But uh, going back to the Flacco, hands off his bread. No. Pokemon Discussing training. with uh, Bankai to clarify some rule sets here before we jump in. Three, two, one, go. 
Pokemon Stadium 2. A good catch right off the bat. So until they jump it right into Bankai trying to get them up tilts. Just so everyone is uh, aware, since we're doing good for time, top eight is best of five. Shield catches the forward smash on the platform. Again, you'll see Tilde doing a lot of jumps, trying to like bait out some options coming out from Bankai. Potential like aggressive. Very unsafe. Alco Phantasm. Bankai's gonna be able to capitalize on that. Good transition from Bankai. That was like a that was so fluid, that combo. Switches over to Charizard, runs off stage while the Razor Leaf was still off there and got the uh, stage spike with a back air. Nice challenge for Bankai. Neutral air. Neutral air, one of Ivysaur's greatest moves in his arsenal. Allows him to just be able to just get combos going. Giant leaves coming out from all around, just protecting his body while he tries to challenge his opponent. Miss space in that back air allows Tilde to capitalize on it. Charizard's big body is going to allow him to survive that swing, though, which is why you'll see Bankai switching over to Charizard when he's at high percent. I'm going to go to Squirrel to try to mix him up with the withdraw move, side beam. Catches the back air, very, like, soft hit, but because he was at high enough percent, ended up taking it away. Oh, Tilde, oh, no! No capitalization from Bankai, though. Bankai felt a little bit bad about that, so give him a little bit of homie stock. Get, let him get back on stage, I'm sure. You got the forward air follow-ups coming out from Dill there. Applies pressure with those down airs. Again, good reaction. The thing is, if you just hear that sound effect coming out from uh, Charizard, you know there's a big move on the horizon coming your way. Tries to cross him up with a down air. This combos into the back air. Bonkai's struggling here to get this Charizard to work. I'm sure he's seeing great success, but I guess he just needs the one forwarder. Pushes him off stage, eats his double jump, forcing the up B recovery with an easy down air spike. Great gameplay coming out from Bankai. Oh man, it's making moves out here. Okay, again, throw out the flamethrower once more. He's gonna stick with the Charizard this time around because he's at, oh, never mind. I'm gonna go for the withdraw instead, try to mix it up with Squirtle. Gets caught by the forward tilt, switches over to Ivysaur while he's high in the air. Neutral air is back onto the stage. This is double jump, not gonna really capitalize on that recovery. Still keeping this corner pressure alive. Back to the heavyweight, wants to stay alive a little bit longer. The back air, oh, this is start starting to catapult. He flare flits so far off stage. Bunkai, what are you doing? He's trying to style on him. The ball's on this man. The ball's on him. The gall of him. He right, gets the up air. Catching the jump. I just have to push him off stage. And he's going to try it again with the back air. He was up a little bit of stage control, but still gets the follow up on the lag after Falco Phantasm. Coming up with the up special. Man. I keep calling that move Hydro Pump, but it's actually called Water Gun. That's my beat. All right, here we go. Forward air. Gonna go for the classic up throw. The, the classic Kirby up throw. That was invented in 1999, you know? Just comes up. Everyone did do great. I feel like the female trainer is much more happier than the male trainer. It's very similar to, to to Wii Fit Trainer, honestly. You got the uh, Wii the Wii Fit Trainer male is very uh, like angry when he tells you to salute the sun. One of my favorite strategies that Bankai is probably employing into this set is when he is at high percent, switching over to Charizard a little bit more often just to get that heaviest weight, right? Because he's actually the sixth heaviest character in the game tied with Incineroar. So he is a, he is a, what I would say, a big boy. So it, it, it's a pretty solid strategy to go for, you know, in comparison to Squirtle, who's one of the lightest characters in the game. My word, my man is uh, 
tied for third with Mr. Game & Watch. That means Squirtle's as light as a piece of paper. All right, back on the mic, you got your boy Jewel. Jewel, what's going on, man? Mike's hot, that's what's going on. Oh, word. So we're jumping into game three in this best three of five set in top eight. All top eight is best three of five. Oh, okay, cool. All of it? All of it. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, we're in it for the long haul, man. I got I to gotta, I gotta tell you uh, after. Word. Uh, <laughs> right, great follow-ups going out from Bankai. What do you think it is about Pokemon Trainer that you know, so many people are playing him? I, I thought like it was like, oh, okay, Pokemon Trainer's in the game. Oh, well. Uh, or thanks, I guess. It's the, He has the ability to be able to just switch between all three Pokemon at will this time around compared to like the previous iteration in Brawl where there was a lot of cooldown. Yeah. As long as you're not spamming the Pokemon, the down B move, which switches out the Pokemon, you get like invincibility on it and you're able to just switch out very seamlessly. Even if you're like in the middle of hit stun or like... Dude, that he double dipped. Like on stream. You don't do that. I mean, like, God, the Dunkaroo's ready to go, like... In Brawl, you can only swap Pokemon on the ground. That, too. Yeah, yeah. I, I forgot about that. And then, and then, you're, then wide takes... you're wide open for, like, a forward smash. Your Pokemon also gets tired if they <laughs> stay out really for long good. enough. Which, in this game, you could, you could literally just play the same Pokemon over and over. If you so I like that two. tired thing. I always thought it buffed them because of their abilities. Oh, well, you know, yeah, you yeah. don't Pokemon. Uh, uh, but this Falco does. <laughs> He's yeah, here. he is still going for these dares. Yeah. A lot of spikes coming out. I mean, this Duncan, like, he's got the Doritos and Dip ready to go. <laughs> Falco is nice. a man that goes to a party, takes a bite out of the chip, and dupes it again. No shame. He gets a throw. Does that? No. Wow, but he's oh, just whatever. catching. Yeah, see, Bankai didn't know. He didn't know that he uh, didn't have to air dodge. Now, until they finally finds himself with a lead, this could be the sort of uh, some momentum shifting for him. Yeah, laying down that down air, trying to follow up with that dash attack. Oh, narrowly grazing him with dash. Dude, is this really a Falco in top eight? Yeah, Falco's good in this game. I think, I think I would know that if I wasn't bombarded by wolves. No, nah, that's fair. I mean, Wolf's a hot new uh, thing. You, oh, you gotta DI catch. out. If you have a chance of surviving. Alright, just goes for the neutral uh, shield. You think he's just gonna stay with Ivysaur? Uh, no, I can see him switching eventually to Charizard just to gain that extra weight. Ooh. I don't. Okay. I feel like Charizard is better for, like, stray uh, kills. Uh, speaking of. The second. He swapped over to Squirtle. The second he swapped over to Squirtle, Done. he got killed. Yeah, he, went, he literally went from the sixth heaviest character to the third lightest character. I feel like, like he should have stayed Ivysaur. I think Ivysaur's neutral is the best out of the three of them. I, well, a lot of things that Bankai's been doing with Pokemon Trainer is trying to uh, mix up which Pokemon he wants to play as to try to keep his opponents on his toes, right? Because, like, one second you're finding Ivysaur, and yo! Echo Soul, thank you so much for them bits. I see them bits, 150. We appreciate that. Coming in with them, with the, with, with, with them bits. I love that scene. It's, it's such a good, it's such dumb. a good scene. It's I forget so it exists because no one ever gives bits. <laughs> it's actually stupid. Right, I'm hoping to see his combos again. The, the Squirtle combos. The classics. Here we, the up tilt and the up. Oh no, he's gone. Here we got the uh, Kalos Pokemon League is the stage of choice. Oh, they're just going back and forth. But should no. he have switched there? Could he have just air dodged? Yeah, but then you feel like with how fast this Falco is playing. Okay. There he goes. Nice job avoiding it. Reads the rolling, by the way. Tilde is starting to adapt to this nonsense. And I'm really liking just this almost Falco. Killed, he just killed himself. And Bankai just no! killed himself. What a great game. And he, he spiked him right next to the ledge. He literally could have just jumped on the stage. Well, this is, a, in fact, a two-stock match. <laughs> All right, Tilda pushing Bankai off. Reads the follows jump. the double jump. This is really bad for Bankai. Opting to go for the Yep. Opting to go for the directional. Gonna air push dodge. him right back off stage. Yep. 
Flirbits? No. He was, he was waiting for the flirbits. The yeah, no, Bonkai's... Like it was uh, Shine. Not Shine. All right, Tilly's going to be uh, getting these forward airs and back airs ready to go. Here we go. Forward air out of shield. Final damage. Yo! Blitz Dude, him. that's straight from Smash 4. Sour spot in air. My man was ready. But now, this is not looking good for Bonkai. Sitting at 133%. Super close to you know eventually dying. Uh, Bonkai I, needs like I'm a I'm surprised play. he didn't just jump back air. Jump back air. Right what there. What do you mean you're not surprised? He did it. He I did, was surprised. Did, but, but, he, <laughs> but, he, but he did it. He ended up doing it. Yeah. Dude, he, he's playing so fast. Jewel is bringing this back too. Yeah, he, he was down at a two to zero deficit. Bring this back to a game five situation. Now Bonkai is uh, you can tell. Look at Bonkai's face. He's a little stumped. Thinking about he had him like for the first two games, like solid like body bag. Very solid. But uh, Tilde, I think maybe is adjusting to both Pokemon Trainer and Bonkai's playstyle. Best three of five coming in strong. Here we go. Final game. I'm really, I'm really liking this Falco. Here we go. Battlefield getting those tri plats out here. Interesting counter pick. Options go for the withdraw, try to get the punish with that parry. The best thing you can do against withdraw is either go for like a multi-hit or just jump right on top of it. If you jump on Squirtle during withdraw, it's the best. You literally you get you a charge for You almost smash. don't want to hit him. Yeah. He's so helpless. He, he, he's literally on his, it's a turtle on his back, dude. It's so sad. <laughs> I'd rather hit Isabel. Why do you think uh Battlefield? I'm not sure, honestly. Because this is a great stage for Falco, but it was Bonkai's counter pick. So it could just be a comfort pick, honestly, because he used to play Zero Suit in Smash 4. Yeah. It does allow Ivysaur to be able to continue some combos as well. You know, you got the Vine Whips going on down Yeah, get higher, but no, he's getting lower with the down air. Till day that was a really back. low down air, by the way. He bet it all. Nice. Just as he just bet it all with the taunt. Till they bet it all with that forward smash, too. Bond guy just comes out with the back air. Okay. And we're back to, we're back to the beginning of the game. Yep. Again, two-stock match. I feel it. Options go for the Pokemon switch. But he, he's the, not phased by it. He's he's gonna keep throwing out hitboxes. But he he avoided the follow up. And also he maybe wanted to play out you know? Here we go. Neutral out of shield. Gonna get those combos started. Reads the tech Ooh. roller incorrectly. Oh whoa. It's a follow up till you, you meant to do that or just a razor leaf? Not sure, dude. But Tilde coming in. Up tilt to back air. That looked true. He's got Bonk at one hundred twelve percent. It's gotta be a punish. It's gotta be a punish. Nice. Forward smash, just throw your face at him. Okay, this is actually this is one of the reasons why it's a really good stage for the spaces. Able to fight. Uh, oh, Falco he had the punish. Whoa! The double parry. Yo! My man. Yo! <laughs> that was a double parry coming out from Silver. That was sick. Try to get the that upper was, as well. Yeah, that was a pretty fresh uh, up tilt. And the top flat. That's going to be so uh, no. offstage coverage. Going for the flamethrower. Oh going my mix god. Up. He actually using the wall jump to mix up what he's going to go because he got sick of skiing spiked by Bonkai Charizard. Back gonna, no. You saw the sparks, but I they weren't enough. Done it. Oh, he tries the same thing, but you know, back at, Bonkai just spaced himself. And that has to On be On the it. platform. He exploded, disintegrated. Even. And we're last stock, last match. Winner, this is going to move on to loser's quarters. Let's get it. Up tilt, gonna lead into some aerials. I think he uses double jump. Oh, he, got, he might have he used has it. Switch. Does, he, he didn't know that he had. I the second he got caught by the first swing on stage, he ended he up just didn't know. Yeah, he uses double jump right in the middle of that combo. Did not recognize. Thought he still had it right here. He thought he was gonna be able to double jump right out of withdrawal, and he did not have that move ready to go. And so Tilde. Bringing it back from a two to zero deficit. 